how you guys doing? It is Arnold back with another video and today we're gonna take a look at Maple Story Explorer Remaster skill changes. These are some minor skill changes. So uh, there are more skill changes coming in on January 18th. So these are not finalized yet. Okay. So do take note, they're not finalized yet, but these are skill changes, do take a look at that. There will be more skill changes and as well as uh, some effects and maybe some improved effects we never know in uh, January 18th or maybe the 20th, alright? So without further ado, let's begin everybody! So, Hero. Hero's uh, up jump, right? Up jump has uh, been fixed because last time they have a delay that you cannot up jump and then jump. So they added that shit. So no more delay, okay, very nice. And um, attack speed does not increase, has been fixed for uh, weapon, uh, the booster, right? So now you can get there your attack speed because it was a bug. And uh, flash skill has a cooldown right now. Remember the dash dash skill? Yeah, see, this shit, yeah, this shit. That's a cooldown. Remember last time we were dashing up over here yeah, and over the map? That's a four seconds cooldown. And uh, insights, insights uh, cooldown has been added. Right, for insights, cooldown has been added, it takes more damage, so insights is this skill, boop, there we go. Yeah, so it actually has an 8 seconds cooldown now. <laughs> right, and then, uh, what else, sacred sword duration has been increased from uh, 200 seconds, so basically sacred sword, this shit. You can be put into your... Pets as well. Yeah, if you have a pet, you can throw into the pet skill as well. Yeah, actually automatically buff it for you. So yeah, now the, the duration it's 200 seconds. Valhalla, right? Valhalla has been modified to 24 seconds and the cooldown time is 120 seconds now. It's Valhalla. So welcome to Valhalla. Yeah, Valhalla directly will charge your combos right now. If I use this, I use Valhalla, it fully charge my combo directly. It's fully charged, everybody. Fully charged. Okay, moving on, we have uh, what else? Burning uh, Sword. Burning Sword, the. Uh, ah, to fully charge combo as well. So let me charge my combo directly. The place is fully charges combo. There we go. Good shit. Good shit. Like, all right. So we have the final one. Look at the final damage. Okay, we're moving in. Final damage over here. All right. Let's see. We're gonna have our final damage. Very nice. Back over here. Four hundred and twenty percent. Wow. Yes. The final damage. It's finally back, everybody. Welcome back to the final damage. Yeah, a lot of people have been like, Oh, where does the final damage go? They actually went into Valhalla. So now they added it back to the final damage and it is that shit over there. Good shit! Let's go! There we go. Now this is the full buff. I hope I didn't use anything wrongly over here, right? I hope everything is correct. So yeah, that is the full buff over here. Okay? Very nice indeed. Very nice indeed over here. Okay, good shit. So that is for hero changes over here. Okay, now we got Paladin, everybody. Paladin Grand Cross. Key down time has been reduced from 6 seconds and cooldown is 180 seconds. So basically, if you want the key down like this, check. 1, 2, 3, and... There we go. Wow, okay, that was crazy. <laughs> Hey, that was crazy. Okay, now so that's basically even added over there, but they, they use more uh, HP now. It's two percent HP. Last time it is actually uh, one point five percent. Yeah, one point five percent now is two percent. Damage also has been also been increased over here. All right, and then we also have um, Holy Unity. Holy Unity has been changed from one hundred eighty seconds to ninety seconds right now. Uh, the rest of the things remains the same. So yeah, Holy Unity basically changed to a 90 second skill, which is actually really damn nice. Alright, uh, Divine Judgment. There is a uh, duration of the Holy the effect has been uh, modified. So it has been changed to a longer, longer duration over there. So yeah. So yeah, that is basically it for our very nice Paladin over here. Alright, so uh, changes for Dark Knight, okay? 
Ganya descent. Um, they say that the effects of attacking monsters has actually been changed. So yeah. So um, I'm not sure what are the changes for the effects. Maybe I need to compare with previously. So yeah, that's basically it. Reincarnation changes though. So reincarnation over here actually they change the mob counts requirement. So from uh, 2 seconds is 24 mobs now, 8 seconds is 44 mobs, and as well as uh, the final one which is 40 seconds is 52 mobs now. So yeah. So yeah, the second one is actually 8 seconds now. So last time it is actually 20, which is actually an error, they change it back, now it's 8 seconds. Alright, and then uh, hyper skill as well. The reincarnation which this one, the hyper skill has been changed to a permanent. 5% final damage increased. Permanent passive. Okay. Permanent passive for 5% final damage increase. And then uh, cooldown for this guy over here last time. Um, from half, quarter, and full mode for this guy over here is actually like 30, 20, 20. Now it's flat 30%. Right? Flat 30% cooldown reduction. And this shit over here. Right? So it adds a 6% final damage right now. Yeah. And it's 30 seconds, 6% final damage depends on your buff duration. I have buff duration 47%, that's why it's, uh, it's higher. So yeah, the original is 30 seconds over here. So at 6% final damage, right? Beholder buff! So yeah, I modified that it will have an output. Now it doesn't have an output, if I use Beholder, as you can see, they will have a very nice effect. 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 Hello? Okay, effect everybody. Okay, good shit. Yeah, you see the effect over there. All right, nice, very nice indeed. Okay, so yeah, that is the uh, that is the beholder buff, everybody. Yeah, so yes, and they actually fix the beholder shock as well. So yeah, beholder shock actually does uh, more fire moves accurately at the moment, and uh, and uh, you and actually do like a three times attack. So to say, as you can see, uh, if I were to do three times attack, it will burst out like three times attack. Or a little bit for the cooldown. Yeah. <laughs> Absolutely amazing, my guy. Look at this shit. And I burst out three times attack over here. So it actually hits like smaller mobs right now. Last time it doesn't hit smaller mobs. Now it actually hits smaller mobs. Okay. So that is for Dark Knight changes, everybody. So yeah, Dark Knight changes. That's all it is. Okay. Now let's take a look at Ice and Lightning. Changes so they mentioned that chain lightning range attack range has been increased. Uh, attack range only, yeah, not the bounce range. So I guess it's just like when you are attacking the mob from a far distance, that actually uh, able to hit, you know, able to hit. So it's like further, you see, most probably that's basically it. So previously they increased the bounce range, now they increase the attack range. As you can see, it still cannot bounce from the top to the bottom. You can see the height differences versus. Uh, this height differences over here where it can actually bounce to the bottom. You see? Yeah. So yeah, that's that's basically it. And then we have cold beam. Cold beam effects for attacking a monster has been modified. Cold beam is a second job skill, which is this one. Yeah. So uh, it actually, yeah, it actually looks like this. Cha cha. Yeah, I think it makes it smaller or something. <laughs> I have to compare to the last one. Alright, and then uh, Freezing Breath. La, okay, last time the Freezing Breath actually has a thousand something seconds delay. Now they revert it back to 960 second MS only. So it's the same as current in the before the remaster. So the, the duration has been uh, this shit over here. There we go. Yeah. So the basically the the casting is has been reduced. Okay. Okay, Ice Aura, ah, range of the Vortex has been modified. Okay, yeah, Ice Aura, let's see, we're gonna, yeah, let's see, there we go. The Aura has been modified, the Aura has been increased over there. So yeah, there we go. It's the uh, Ice Aura. And uh, of course, Teleport Mastery added range, as you can see, Teleport Mastery. Okay, good shit. Yeah. Okay, very nice, very nice indeed. Okay, so that's basically it for the ice and lightning uh, skill changes. Yeah. Okay, now let's take a look at fire and poison over here. Fire and poison, the only changes over here, it's uh, the poison region. So this skill actually got nerfed. I mean, yeah, you see that coming already. So basically right now, 
Uh, if you were to use Meteor, it actually procs the skill as well. And the skill right now is not so OP in terms of it doesn't uh, do the entire burst. It's just like 0 0.4 seconds, 0 0.4 seconds burst. It's not like boom, one shot, right? Yeah, that shit is uh, too OP to use, so that's why they actually nerve it to 0 0.4 seconds over here. See, it's like tiny little dots, tiny little dots only. So yeah, so that is the nerf, and as well as the damage nerf. And we're here again, okay, 0.4 seconds. And the damage nerf is from 206% damage to 192% uh, damage. And last time it hits like uh, 6 times, now it's 5 times. And if you hit a similar mob, it deals less 50% damage. So yeah, that is basically it for fire and poison. But it is still still damn ass good. Yeah, you can, you can see the duration is still 100% uptime. And it's still damn good over here. Still damn good. So yeah, that is the uh, fire and poison change for poison region, everybody. Very nice indeed. All right, now let's go on with the bishop skill changes, everybody. So remember last time that we mentioned that the uh, second job skill over here is actually a very insane range. Now, the range has been actually been changed uh, to a very lower lower range over here. You see, it's not so. Uh, so far anymore. Hey, hey, hey. Alright, so it's much more balanced right now. It's not so far anymore. So it actually hits between uh, the skills range. Okay, so this is the holy uh, holy arrow changes for the second job. Now, Angelic Touch. Right? Uh, the skill effects attack has been changed. So Angelic Touch is the heal. So basically this is heal. If I go to Vengeance. Vengeance of Angel. And then I use Angelic Touch. Yeah, this is how it looks like. So yeah. They actually changed a little bit on the effect. And the top effect over here are actually much bigger. So let's just say uh, if I go up again. And if I use this, look at that. Ooh, yeah. So that is the, uh, when you use Vengeance, it will change to the heal over there. Change from heal to the Vengeance of uh, Angelic Touch. Uh, next one. We got uh, Bahamut. Bahamut, uh, the bird over here. Sorry, the dragon over here. Who is calling the bird? The dragon over here has been increased in the duration. Alright, so the duration has actually been increased. Uh, we'll show over here. The duration has been increased from 180 seconds to 260 seconds. Damage has been increased from uh, 150 to 720. Okay, so as you see over here, it's how it looks like. Yeah. That is the uh, Bahamut, everybody. Bahamut. Okay, very nice. Okay, and as well as final damage from 20%, now it's 25%. So very nice indeed. Now, moving on to the next one. Uh, ah, Holy Water. Holy Water. Holy Water is this skill over here. It's a brand new skill. So basically, Holy Water over here. Last time when you use Vengeance, if you use Angel Ray, uh, you cannot actually gather stacks for Holy Water. Now, you can actually gather stacks from Holy Water if you use Angel Ray. Because Holy Water, same as the heal, will have doubled the two different... Uh, uh, skills so if i off you see you gain stacks right now so i can actually use this skill yeah and then you can see the holy cup over there you can just go up to get the buff right so let's come back here and then we have a uh, holy blood holy blood right now has been changed right so now it has been changed to uh as final damage right uh, originally is uh damage so now you increase one percent final damage okay and uh, for every five thousand, right? Depending on the on the on the in that you have, you have like in, then increase as well. And yeah, the duration does not depends on uh, the int anymore. So that's that's basically it for uh, for the holy blood. So let me use holy blood for you to see how it looks like. So this is holy blood. There we go. That's holy blood. So yeah. So holy blood, everybody. Okay. Okay, now let's go to Bowmaster, everybody. So Bowmaster, there are a few changes. So Bowmaster and Crossbowmaster have this skill over here. Actually, it's a super stance now. So yeah, it's actually very good. You got a free super stance skill by using this one. So it's a common skill, right? For super stance. So and then uh, we also have an extra skill, which is the not really an extra skill, the new skill, right? This one. Yeah, the fresh uh, Mirage over here. You can see that the attack actually is more accurate right now, as you can see. Uh, I need to wake it for you to uh, actually proc. Then actually you can see that the attack over there. Alright, let's see. Ah, there we go, there we go. See? 
yeah, you can actually see the arrows coming down, so it's actually really nice. And now it's modified that it's applied to buff freezes. So yeah, that's that's basically it. See Red Mirage over here, it's now a buff freezer has been applied as well. So yeah, okay. And then Quiver Full Burst. So Quiver Full Burst, they say that the Arrows Navigate has been improved. Let's see how the Arrows Navigate has been improved over here, alright? Okay, let's check out Quiver's Full Burst. Oh, okay. So that's the arrows the navigating to the uh, monsters. So it actually targets the direct mobs itself. Yeah, yeah, look at that, look at that. Ooh. It actually goes to the mob directly. <laughs> yeah, look at the arrows. Oh my god. Damn. Damn. Yeah. Okay. Okay, that's actually very nice. Okay, and then, uh, oh yeah. The, I forgot about this skill. Uh, the tally skill right now is 100% uptime. It's 100% uptime. So yeah, this is 120 seconds uptime and cooldown is 120 seconds. So remember this is actually a teleport skill wherever you just tally back over here. So yeah, so that's basically it. So they changed it to 100% uptime everybody. Okay, so bow expert over here. Last time, it's 8% critical damage. Now, it is 16% critical damage. So basically, they increased it. So yeah, it's actually a buff. So they increased it over here. So that's basically it for the uh, changes for Bowmaster, everybody. Alright, so we have our Marksman. Crossbowman over here, right? So similar to... Bowmaster, this skill over here is actually a super stance. So yeah, it's actually a super stance over here. Let's see. Pop, 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 pop. That's a super stance over there. Very nice indeed. And then um, this one over here, you can see. This one is 100% uptime now. Uh, similar to uh, similar to Bowmaster. So it's 120 seconds duration and uh, 120 seconds cooldown. So yeah, it's a teleport skill where you can teleport back over here. And then there is a new skill. Last time there is a bird skill over here. When you summon the bird, it will use this bird skill over here. Now, you don't need to summon the bird. This is an extra or extra skill, brand new skill. Has a 10 seconds cooldown, 300% damage, attack six hits, right? Attack eight mobs. The range is very wide. As you can see, it hits the top mob over there. Yeah. It's very, very wide. So it's a really a good change. So it's a good new skill. So you don't need the bird, you can still summon it. Yeah, with the bird, you can see that it is... Yeah, you know, yeah, that's, that, that's basically it. Okay, the split out over there. <laughs> so yeah, regardless of summoning the bird, you can still use this skill. Yeah, regardless. You don't need the bird, you can still use this skill. So very nice change. And we have... Uh, Piercing and Enhanced Piercing, alright? So Piercing and Enhanced Piercing has been... Uh, the arrow effect has been changed. We have Piercing and Enhanced Piercing, which is uh, these two skills over here. So basically what they do is, the final damage from uh, has been increased by 12% and defense by 30% for 5 seconds last time. Now they increase the final damage by 4% and uh, defense by 13% for 15 seconds. So basically it changed from 5 seconds to 15 seconds now. Right? And as a passive, it adds 8% final damage and 20% IED as a passive. Okay, so that is the change over here, which is absolutely amazing. Alright, and uh, sniping. Yes, the sniping skill. So the fifth job, uh, sniping skill over here, which is the true sniping, which is this skill over here, it's now a 15 seconds instead of 12 seconds, right? So I move it in, it's 15 seconds now instead of 12 seconds with the what? So it's because my skill is low level, so that's why you don't have the 15 seconds over there. But now it's been increased to 15 seconds, all right? Then as well as, ah, split arrow, our favorite skill over here. Speed arrow duration has been increased to 72 seconds. Previously it's 60 seconds, now it is 72 seconds. Right? The cooldown 
it's uh, 120 seconds. Nothing's changed. Damage still the same. Everything's still the same. They give it a longer duration, everybody. They just give it a longer duration of 72 seconds. That's how good it is. So yeah, that's basically it for the marksman skill over there. So yeah, these are the marksman skill changes over here. As very nice changes, right? Very, very nice changes. So extra uh, mobbing for extra range, as you can see. This one you hit top and bottom. And uh, more damage increase. Yeah, good shit. Okay, now we're gonna take a look at uh, Night Lord, everybody. So Night Lord Shuriken Blast, which is this skill. The range has been modified. They didn't mention whether it's increased or decreased, but from what I see, I didn't really like notice how far did it go. So yeah, this is the range at the moment. So I think it's a little bit increased on the range. Yeah, it's a it's a second job skill anyway. So yeah, and then Shadow Leap. Shadow Leap is this skill. Um, it can only be used in the uh, certain movement speed maps over here. So they actually change it. Now showdown. Uh, extra, you can see those extra hits that are coming out. They will show how long it will spawn. So if I use it now, it spawns right now, and then it will show up here. You see, you see? Yeah, it will show up here. Yeah, it will show up here right now. So yeah, that's how it looks like. And then, Showdown actually received a uh, nerf. Yes. So basically, last time, Showdown, it's from 8% EXP and uh, drop rate, now it's 5% right now, as you can see, it's 5%. Compared to the last time, it's 8%, so now it's 5%, okay? And uh, Spread Troll, yeah, Spread Troll, they actually remove the uh, Lucky 7, I think they remove Lucky 7, and as well, they change the effect for this guy over here. Wait, wait. Yeah, this one. Because previously they didn't show like the spread over there, so they added this shit in. So yeah, so that's basically it for uh, Night Lord. There are a few skills that are unable to use in when you're in Dark Side, but I think they will change it in the future. I'm not sure, so I didn't really showcase that much. So check out the patch notes on that one, so you'll see in the future, everybody. All right, so that's basically it for Night Lord, everybody. Okay, now let's take a look at Shadowers. Right, skill changes over here. So, first things first, Bloody Explosion, the brand new skill over here where it uses your uh, blood coins over here. So, basically, the Bloody Explosion over here, the ability, it basically attacks the highest HP monsters, right? And the range has actually been uh, modified. So, I think they increased the range by a little bit. So, yeah. You may see. Yeah. So yeah, that's bloody explosion over here for the changes. Okay, now uh, shadow assault is modified to uh, so that the buff freezes will be applied. Okay, so that's basically it. And assassination. So assassination, when you're using uh, meso explosion, it actually cancels. Okay, right? that's cancellation. So uh, I don't really play uh, shadow, so I'm not really sure about that. So that's how it looks like when I'm gonna cancel it. Let me show you guys. Wait, 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 wait. Oh, there we go. Yeah, I'm not sure I'm doing it correctly, but yeah. <laughs> so yeah, it says that the finishing blow can be cancelled with Meso Explosion. So that's basically it. So that's the that's the uh, effect for uh, assassinate. And as well as the action delay has been fixed. So last time there was a kind of little bit of delay that people kind of complained. So it's actually been fixed over here. Okay, and then uh, what else? Uh, ah, that was an issue where x Explosion actually used the mess loss that you uh, that is dropped over here. So that's been fixed as well. That was some funny shit. All right, so that is basically it for Shadow everybody. All right, now we're gonna take a look at Dual Blade, everybody. So Dual Blade, the main thing that we're gonna take a look at is Phantom Blow, everybody. Phantom mode looks absolutely amazing right now. Look at this. Oh my god. Look at how the animation works. The zigzag. It looks 10 times better than uh, than the old one. The old one was absolutely yellow, yellow shit color. And this is this legitly looks absolutely amazing. Absolutely amazing. My god, look at this. Ah oh, man. Now that's too blade. That's too blade, man. Now, let's take a look at Asura. So Asura duration... Uh, 
has been reduced from five, uh, 10 seconds to 5 seconds. And the damage has actually been increased from, uh, I don't know what's the number, but you can know. 693% right now, 5 hits, right? Last time it's 4 hits, and cooldown is still 60 seconds. And they mentioned the duration and damage has been modified, so it has been increased in terms of the damage. So this is how it looks like in terms of the Asura, everybody. So yeah, very nice because you get a damage increase over here, which is absolutely amazing. And uh, it is a little bit longer as you can see because uh, there is like a little bit casting animation and maybe silver lagging over here. So yeah, that's basically why. Other than that, it's 5 minutes, alright? So yeah. And uh, Blade Accession, next one. Action delay has been fixed and the movement distance has been corrected. So last time you cannot see me doing like this. Now you can actually see me doing like this already. So yeah, it's very nice. Look at this. Look at this. Yeah, last time in the remaster, they actually messed it up. So now you can actually move like this. Very nice indeed. Alright, so that is basically it for the dual blade changes, everybody. Very nice indeed. So, Captain or Corsia. So, this skill over here, which is the Swift Fire, actually have uh, their skill conditions being removed, and the problem with the skill effect that is above the head has been fixed. So, it's just some bug fixes, okay? And then we had uh, the summons, which is the ships, right? The ship summons over here, they do not have any cooldown anymore. Last time, it is 15 seconds cooldown, if I recall correctly. So now, they basically totally remove the cooldown, and you can plant as, much, uh, as many times as you want, but you can only plant two only. Okay, and as well as uh, the same for this summon as well, this one. Yeah, you can plant anytime you want, anywhere you want. So uh, you can just right click it to uh, delete the entire skill from the map as well, just in case. See? I I, I think they're gonna fix the delay, but. <laughs> this shit is funny as hell. <laughs> okay, we didn't expect to do that, but. Uh... Okay, very nice. Very nice <laughs> Oh my god. Alright, and then uh, what else? Uh, oh yeah, the common skill for the jump and flying one, actually, they are all standardized. Yeah, they are all standardized. The up jump skills are all standardized already. So standardized up jump uh, height as well as the uh, for all pirates. Yeah, all pirates explorers. So they are the same. Okay? So that's basically it for Captain or Corsia, everybody. So there are a few more skill changes and everything. It's just some bug fixes only. All right, now let's take a look at Viper, everybody, or Buccaneer. So Buccaneer has some uh, changes over here at the up jump. So basically, the up jump over here is much higher now, as you can see. Yeah, very much higher now. Now it's not that high. Now it's actually very much higher now. You see? Yeah, the up jump is very much higher now. So that's it. And then, uh... Oh, the dash skill. So dash skill, this one? Yeah. Last time you cannot cancel anything. Now you can actually work as a cancellation. So, uh, it reverse went the last time. The original one. So as long as you are hitting anything, then uh, you want to cancel it. And then you can just cancel it directly. It's the same thing as uh, the current one. Without the remaster, alright? Then, uh, there were skill icon changes for this. Alright? Mental clarity, skill icon changes. And as well as this, skill icon changes as well. And then we also have, ah, the Lord of the Deep, everybody's favorite skill, right? Lord of the Deep, over here, they actually have an issue last time, whereby when, even when you kill 40 mobs, or if you meet the condition, not really a 40 mobs over here, uh, when you meet a condition, then uh, it will reduce the cooldown. So it's like, yeah, it's still 40 mobs. So uh, now they actually fix it, so basically it is still 100% of time. So yeah, that she is still 100% of time over here. So that's basically it for Viper or a Buccaneer, everybody. Still good, still 100% of time. Everything is still there, just a little bit of uh, bug changes and uh, stuff over there, right? Now let's take a look at Cannon Shooter, everybody, which is also known as Cannon Master or Cannoneer, all right? So uh, as long as all the jumps, right, the up jumps actually being standardized, so they have a fixed 
uh, height over there, and skill modifier up jump over there, skill effects has also been modified, action delay also been modified, but this one cannot go like above the top compared to uh, fight path, so yeah, so it's, it looks like this right now. And then uh, mini cannonball, mini cannonball is this skill over here, can no longer be still by phantom, so phantom cannot steal this skill anymore. And mini cannonball damage has been increased from 150% to 180%. But the number of attacks went down from 6 to 5. Okay, so yeah, that's basically for mini cannonball. Okay, so this skill, the Orc Barrel Roulette. The basic effect of increasing the critical damage has been changed to uh, passive. So basically, ice last time is 8% critical damage. Now it goes down there to the uh, critical damage at the bottom. You can see that is five percent right now. Okay, so that's five percent critical damage, right? And then uh, last time, it's actually fifteen percent final damage. Now it's ten percent final damage. Cooldown has been reduced from one hundred eighty seconds to seventy five seconds over there and that's basically it all right thank you very much for tuning in everybody i hope you get get some insights on what are the skill changes that is actually being implemented today all right so as i mentioned before january 18 will be the one right that we'll be looking at when uh, they add in more changes okay so this is still not finalized yet everybody all right so we'll have to see more changes over that Okay, so that's all for today. Thank you very much for tuning in. I'll catch you guys in the next video as always. Be awesome, everybody, and stay safe. Bye bye.